Now, Covishield or Covaxin, which one to choose from? Frankly, it doesn't matter. Just go out there and take whichever is available. Both are safe and effective. Hi, I'm Dr. Abhishek Tandon, a pulmonologist based at Ames Jodhpur. And I'm here today to speak to you regarding the vaccination process and answer some of the questions that you might have regarding the same. Now, why do we want you to take the jab? Now, it serves two purposes. At an individual level, it will help you prevent a severe disease, minimize your risk of hospitalization and eventually death. And at a community level, it will help us to develop what is known as a herd immunity. And believe me, that is the only hope that we have right now to prevent the break of transmission and bring some stability to this chaos around. Now, what are the after effects of a vaccine? See, once you take a jab, a fever which might last for 24 to 72 hours, pain or numbness at the site of the injection are pretty common. And you can definitely take a paracetamol for the same. But if the symptoms last for more than 72 hours, I recommend that you get yourself tested. Now, which individuals should not take the vaccine? At present, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare says that anyone with a history of any food or drug allergy, or for that instant, pregnant and lactating women should avoid this jab. But here is catch. Recently, as early as yesterday, the Federation of Obstetrics and Gynecology Society of India have issued a notification asking the ministry to change this recommendation. They believe that the vaccination is safe for pregnant and lactating women and I'm sure the ministry will compile and a new notification should be there anytime. Now I get so many doubts. Will my sperms count decrease if I take the jab? I'm on my periods, should I take the jab? If I take the jab, will my DNA mutate? Please, please, please don't pay any heed to those rumors. They are baseless and have no scientific knowledge or back. Now, Covishield or Covaxin, which one to choose from? Frankly, it doesn't matter. Just go out there and take whichever is available. Both are safe and effective. Another very pressing question is, I was scheduled to get my jab and I've tested positive or I'm showing symptoms. What to do now? Wait for at least six weeks from the day that you've tested positive and go out there and take the jab. I've taken the first jab and I'm showing symptoms or I've tested positive. What to do now? Again, the same answer. Wait for at least six weeks. Yes, even if it defies the preset limit interval of four to eight weeks, and then you're good to go and take that jab.